I was doubtful even when I went to put the strings on, I was still like, this isn't gonna work. I had just seen a video online of a, a rock band that was performing and they had printed all of their instruments with a 3D printer that was In guitar, bass, and I think drums. So I showed him the video of the instruments and I said, yeah, hey, wouldn't that be cool if you could print violins and the kids in the orchestra could use it? Just kind of went off on this little research project and found the right printer and um, downloaded the plans. The 3D printer is like a, a factory, like where you, all those things are made you can, that you won't find at the store. First thing you do is you click and start the program on your computer. And then once you start it, you just go off and do whatever you want. It was a lot of, it was a lot of trial and error though. Yeah. Like we had to go through a lot to get it to work. And I, I'm reprinting something that failed and I really don't know why it failed right now. You can hear it. And then when it's done, when all the pieces are done, you pop them together. The bottom, the middle, the top, and the neck are the four main pieces that you print. And you put in the connectors. And then you put on the strings, the chin rest, the pegs, everything, and then it's done. So but there's no glue holding it together It's at like all. all friction. You can't get it out once yeah. you put it in. This is the first complete one and the only complete one. What is this uh, instrument like to play compared to a standard wooden violin? It's quieter. It is much quieter. It's heavier. The sound doesn't come out as bright. But that's actually one of the advantages of it for the youth orchestra because um, violins are really loud on their own. And yeah. with a quieter instrument like this, the kids will be able to hear each other better and hear and, themselves and tune in less. <laughs> All right.